How's it going guys? Um, we are hanging out down here in the garage and my most recent video that I uh, just released last uh, about two weeks ago actually um, I did not post last week just because of the holidays and in that video I said that I wanted to do one more just kind of wrap up recap of 2023 and talk about um, some of my uh, baits that I was most successful with some of my most successful lures and just kind of break those down. So without further ado, let's jump into that. So I have eight lures, I believe, something along those lines setting here. Um, and these were just the lures that I was most successful with and caught the most fish on um, in 2023. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm just gonna count backwards, count down backwards. And number eight was an underspin and specifically this underspin um this is an underspin head that i made myself um it's got the little bit of an arm coming down and on the back of that i have a 3.5 storm largo shad um, this underspin i ended up catching a lot of fish a lot of multi-species stuff I ended up catching a lot of saw guy as well as bass on this and um, that storm largo shad i forgot to mention is in the sexy shad color so number seven on my list was a lure, or I should say a group of lures, um, that I just, um, I guess, tossed around a lot more than I have in, in past years. And this is one um, that I bought a dedicated combo just for this at the beginning of 2023. So I made it a point to toss this around um, a lot more, and that's a crankbait. Um, I have five different crankbaits that I used throughout 2023 the most, and they were the most successful for me. So I'm going to just kind of go through the list and show you what I got. The first one is a Strike King KVD 1.5. This is in the Citrus Shad color. Um, this ended up being one of my favorite colors in that 1.5 line, and I've just had a lot of success with it. The next two are from uh rapala rapala however you say that i'm, I'm not exactly sure and this one is the rocco 5 and it's the og rocco 5 um this one is in hot copper green crawl i believe is the color and it's just like a square bill it's a silent square bill i believe it's a balsa square bill and uh just picked this up here recently and i just put it to work caught a ton of fish on that um, this one is more of a flat-sided crankbait. This one's also by Rapala. This is the um, OG Slim 6. Um, this is in the, I believe it's like Halinski Shad or something along those lines. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce the color of it, but it's kind of similar to a sexy shad pattern. It's got a chartreuse stripe, um, blue top. So, yeah, really like this. This is a little bit heavier crankbait. Um, it has a round bill on it, um, and it uh, dives a little deeper. It's about a six-foot diving, flat-sided square bill. really like that one. Um, sorry, not a square bill. Um, rounded bill, but flat-sided, and dives about six foot. really like that one. And then the other two um, I ended up doing a whole review video on in itself is the Berkeley Money Badger. The first one is this one right here. I specifically use this one to target smallmouth. This is the Money Badger 5 in the blaze color. Um, had one of my best days on the water the whole year as far as numbers wise um, on this bait right here um, at Allen Creek. Pretty good deck, just catching smallmouth. And then this one is in the 6.75 size. I believe this is like silver black. Not It's along those lines in the colors, black, silver, um, silver black. Um, it's just a silver sided bait with a black back. Um, a little bit bigger in size and I just caught a little bit of everything on this this year. So my next couple lures are ones that I actually have tied on my rods um, and these are ones that I have planned to use this fall fishing um, and, and have used throughout the year. Um, in fact, I've very rarely ever taken these lures off of these rods. Um, the first one is the Strike King Sexy Dog Junior. 
this is in the bone color this is the smaller size um, caught a lot of fish on this this was probably my most productive topwater lure all year um, really like that and it's that downsized profile which fits really well here in Ohio with smaller bait fish and stuff and the next one um, this is a lure that I primarily fish pre-spawn um, but I also do pick it up sometimes in the uh, in the fall this one's just a spinner bait um, this one is made by Blue Rock Custom Tackle this is in the kicker color uh, on that I have a zoom split tail trailer and pearl um, I ended up mainly fishing like this like I said in the pre-spawn um, end of the spawn and then a little post spawn and caught a lot of fish on this um, a lot of really good fish um, a spinnerbait just seems to be one of those lures that I just catch a lot of really good fish on. And I caught my PB on this lure earlier this year in the pre-spawn mid-April. Um, it was 7 pounds 4 ounces, so had to include this. Um, spinnerbait is one that I don't typically throw a lot um, any other than any time other than the pre-spawn, but I do, like I said, pick it up sometimes in the fall. And a spinnerbait is my go-to lure when it's really really windy out i just have a lot of confidence for whatever reason on a spinner bait when it's windy out so the next lure on my list is a lure that um over my time of fishing i probably caught the most fish on um but this year I, for whatever reason i just seemed to struggle with it um, I found myself having trouble committing to it, but I still caught a lot of fish on it this year, and, and that's a jig. Um, I had three particular jigs that I caught a lot of fish on. Um, two of them I made myself, and then one of those, um, I'll just show you that one, is a Dirty Jigs. Um, this is the Scott Canterbury um, flipping jig. This is in the dirty chartreuse color. As you can see, it's got a little chartreuse on the black, on the back of it. And then the front's just a green pumpkin. Pair that with a uh, Strike King Rage Crawl and Summer Crawl, which kind of matches the color of the skirt. Really like um, my dirty jigs. Um, jigs. I've just had a lot of success on those, so I like those a lot. And then my favorite, um, just jig in general, just because of the head design, is one that I make myself. Um, obviously I'm a little bit partial to that just because it's one that I make myself and it's always fun to catch fish on lures that um, you kind of put together yourself and that's this one here this is kind of like a bluegill pattern slash crawl pattern it's got some orange some blue and some green pumpkin in the skirt um, on that again strike king rage crawl this rage crawl is in the blue crawl color to just kind of match that um, skirt color with that like the blue and the green pumpkin and then the last one very similar actually is this one here as you can see it's like a green pumpkin with some orange flake and then as I come around to the back side there's some blue and uh, a little bit of purple mixed in there as well real real light colors again Strike King Rage Crawl blue crawl color on the back of that um, and the reason why I said I like this jig a lot is because of the head design it's an archy style head and it's real flat um, which allows it to skip well allows it to stand up well on the bottom so overall really good jig um it's a good size jig too um catch a lot of big fish just because it's a bigger profile and uh obviously i could always trim the skirt down and stuff to um kind of make that profile smaller um i always like to start with my jigs um, more of a full size profile just to see if I can get bit but if I'm struggling to then I'll trim the skirt down trim the trailer down to, um, just give them a little more compact profile so the next technique is one um, that's became my favorite finesse technique and until um, probably April of last year I had never once thrown this I've never once even had it rigged up or tied onto my rods um, that's a drop shot uh, my drop shot has caught me so many fish this year not a lot of size admittedly I think my biggest fish on a drop shot was about two and a half pounds which is still pretty good fish especially here for Ohio uh, but I believe that um, it just got me bites when no other lure would um, and I kind of have three different drop shot worms that I prefer um, I fish Seneca a lot, does not have a lot of like structure and stuff in the water. Um, and so I typically run 
an exposed hook. I kind of nose hook my drop shot worms and use a little smaller profile and just tend to catch a lot of fish that way. Um, so one of the worms that I just throw all the time is a KVD Dream Shot. That's a Strike King KVD Dream Shot. This one's in Green Pumpkin. Um, this is kind of what I start at and just kind of branch out my color selection from there. Um, really like the, the dream shot it has a lot of action, but it also can be subtle depending on how you're working that. If the water is really, really clear, uh, I like to go to the morning dawn in that same dream shot. I, I just really like that, um, uh, morning dawn and super clear water. It's just got me a lot of fish. That's probably the color that's got me the most fish this year. And then the last little drop shot worm here this is a, a little smaller profile but this is the berkeley max scent flat worm and this is the smelt color um i really like this color just very natural it's got the white belly and then a little darker back to it um but this is the smaller size and i actually kind of wish i had bought the larger size which would have been about the same size as the dream shot um but i ended up purchasing the smaller size and um <laughs> I have caught a ton of bluegill on this. Um, I, I think it has a combination to do with the scent. Um, it looks very natural. And um, it, uh, it is a smaller profile. And not only have I caught a lot of bluegill on this, I've caught a lot of, uh, a lot of bass. Um, typically, they are smaller fish. But this is one that you'll probably see me um, picking up more in the fall time just because it's smaller downsized profile and very natural looking in the water So the next lure on my list, I believe we're down to number two um, It's just a creature style bait and I mainly have um, Two different ones that I've used and caught fish on the most. I obviously I've branched out from those two um, but I have um, mainly stuck to these two lures and I have three different colors um, first one uh, first lure is just a strike king rage bug this is in green pumpkin had a lot of success on the green pumpkin color and I dyed my the tips of the tails um, chartreuse um, right around the bluegill spawn when the bluegill were up shallow had a lot of success on this and uh, that's mainly when I use this it was to target those fish up shallow feeding on the bluegill. The other color in that, and this is one that I would use kind of all the time, um, use it to mimic crawl, bluegill, and just any sort of forage that fish are feeding on up shallow. And this is the blue crawl color. It's kind of got that blue swirl mixed in with that green pumpkin. This is just one that I throw all the time. Really like that color. And then the last creature bait, um, that I use and I mainly use this early on in the pre-spawn but if the water is really clear um, this is the creature bait that I pick up this is the one I have a lot of confidence in this is the Guggenbaits Bandito bug in the natural color um, it's kind of like a silver blue flake on one side and then like a green pumpkin blue flake on the other side for whatever reason in just really clear water um, I feel like this is the best color of creature bait that you can find on the market and I wish a lot of other companies made lures in this color um, admittedly I'm not like a super huge fan of the bandito bug just because of how soft the plastic is it tears up real easy um, I mean you're gonna have that with any lure um, but this is one that I'm willing to spend the money on to buy just because I have a ton of confidence in that and down to number one um, this is probably the lure that I had the most success with as far as catching big fish and numbers of fish this year. Um, and you know it was coming. If you've watched any of my videos, you had to know this was coming, especially since I haven't mentioned it yet. And that's a bladed jig or a chatterbait. Um, I had success mainly throwing three this year. Three different ones, three different colors. So, to start, this one is the Strike King Thunder Cricket. Um, this one is in the blue crawl color and on that if you notice I have a green pumpkin chartreuse trailer um, that's the trailer that I use 
um, around the same time that I was using the Rage Bug in Green Pumpkin dye in the tips um, chartreuse on that was when the bluegill were up shallow. I caught some really good fish on this with the bluegill up shallow. The other time I caught a lot of fish on this, I ended up going to Alum Creek and had a really good day. Probably one of my best days up there as far as catching numbers and size. Um, targeting smallmouth on this. And for whatever reason, they were just absolutely crushing the bladed jig, the thunder cricket. And specifically this color, I actually tried throwing a couple other colors and wouldn't touch it. Um, that day it was really, really windy out. We probably had 10 to 15 mile an hour winds um, with gusts up to 25. And that 10 to 15 was pretty consistent throughout the day. And for whatever reason, in that real clear water around the grass, around the rocks, it didn't matter where I threw this, they were just chewing it. So really like that one. And but I thought I should mention, this is the tungsten thunder cricket. This is the newer one they come out with. It's got the tungsten head on it. Um, that's really the only thunder cricket I throw, and I just think that tungsten makes a difference. The other bladed jig that I threw a lot, um, and I haven't thrown this one a lot here recently just because I've been on um, a pretty good bite with another bladed jig. And I threw this one a lot early on in the year when I first started uh, out on the water, a lot in the pre-spawn and uh, kind of around the spawn time throwing this. This is the Berkeley slobber knocker. This is in the herring color. You can see it's kind of a white skirt. And then it's got like a um, green pumpkin back to it. And I really like the slobber knocker. I've mentioned this in other videos. This really shined for me throwing it around wood cover, um, especially in the, the early part of the year, pre-spawn, spawn, and even a little post-spawn, just throwing it up around wood cover. Um, this is the one that I prefer to use for that. And last but not least for chatterbaits, this is the one that I've used the most. This is the one I've caught the most fish on. And this is the one that I've probably um, caught some of my biggest fish on this year. Have it tied on. Um, this is the one that I keep tied on a lot. This one is the Z-Man Chatterbait Elite. And just a plain white. Um, and then on that I have a Hog Farmer Spunk Shad trailer in the blizzard gizzard color um, that spunk shad is the 4.5 size i've also thrown the 5.5 size and had a lot of success on that as well um, especially in the summertime now i like that bigger profile that bigger size in the summertime a lot of kicking action um, just worked really well for me and caught a lot of really good fish on that so there you have it guys those are my top lures from 2023 i know that was kind of long um, you typically when you think of these types of videos you have you know three or four lures that you really just catch fish on consistently throughout the year um, but this year was a big learning year for me meant meaning that I was out there trying different profiles experimenting around with different baits um, just to try to find um, you know that one special lure that stood out from the rest that caught a lot of fish and throughout the year I felt like I was successful with that um prior to this year i'd never once thrown that storm Lar largo shad swim bait gave it a try loved it i'd never once thrown the berkeley money badger threw it loved it not thrown a flat-sided crankbait all that much especially one this big threw it loved it and then the og rocco from rapala never thrown it before this year threw it loved it and you know the the berkeley slobber knocker hadn't thrown it a lot and i really enjoyed that one never once thrown a thunder cricket by strike king and and there's something about that tungsten head that just um made me fall in love with that lure i i plan to get more of those um and i just really enjoyed that so overall like I said, as far as learning new lures and finding ones that I really liked, finding things that stood out just from the crowd. You know, the market is so saturated with lures and different types of lures and the same types of lures from different companies and the same colors. Um, and just finding things that I'm comfortable with throwing and confident with throwing and, and 
throwing those out there and catching some fish on it. And so, like I said, I feel like it was a successful year. And I wanted to do this little bit of a video just to show you what I caught fish on this year um, in lures that I found myself throwing and catching the majority of my fish on. And I would say, feel comfortable saying about 85% of my fish came on these eight different types of lures. And there's probably a total of about 15 to 20 lures here total um, that caught about 85% of my fish on this year. I know, like I said, I, I feel like that seems like a lot, but I was experimenting around trying to find the best of the best. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. Um, thank you again for supporting the channel, um, making 2023 in my first year of um, making videos and um, putting this content out there for you guys. Thanks for the support. Um, hope you've enjoyed the content. Um, looking to obviously try to get better, produce better content, put more content out there for you guys um, as time allows, obviously. And then um, just hope to continue to grow. And thanks for being a part of that. Thanks for watching, guys.